So, um, by the way, how was your assignment? Have you, have you all done it? Have you all done your assignment? Uh, I hope so. Okay. You hope so. At least you have done it, yeah? Caught? Yes, yes. Okay. Right. So how did you find it, class? How was the assignment? Was it interesting? Was it something that you love to do? Yes, yes. At least we learned something. And we are able to at least uh, differentiate target question and traditional way of question. OK. You are able to differentiate between target costing and traditional way of costing. In practice, isn't it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Why? Right. Can some of you share with uh, with us your your experience? Actually, the assignment has been closed. If anybody submits um, after the deadline, you will definitely be marked down for that um, because I definitely know the time you send in the assignment, the date and the time will all be registered. So, you know. Um, but can you can you share can you share with us what was your experience? What um, what type of company did you choose, and uh, what was your outcome? What was the outcome of your your research? You know and stuff like that. If you can share with us, let's hear from a couple of people. Then we we proceed. Can we hear from a couple of people? Suleiman, was your was your base was your own based on the hotel school? Ah no no, this was <laughs> it to do with this carpentries. Uh, I approached a carpenter workshop who is also my relative. Okay. Yeah. So uh, for him, you know, he is engaged into uh, this uh, uh, making of these uh, beds. Okay. You know, this wood this wooden beds. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, but now he is, you know, they initially he was using red timber. Now he okay. is using the, he's initiating a new one to do the rosewood. Okay, so he wants to do rosewood instead of yeah, red now, timber. Yeah, now doing the rosewood. What what was his main reason of um, not using red timber now? Uh, pro quality, <clears throat> and and you know now the new trend is using the rosewood because that is high in demand and you can sell it, you know, high at a higher price. Okay, but what about the uh, the cost implication on on his business? Um, yes, the co the cost is also a bit higher because <laughs> the rosewood is more expensive and is is becoming scarce. In fact, but then he still thinks it, it's a viable business for him, so he is embarking on that. He's doing this one also, but this one is a trial. Okay, okay. Yes. So, so you mean um, comparing the the red timber to the rose, the the rose is more more expensive, is it? Yeah, the rose is more expensive. Oh, okay. Rose is more expensive. Okay, okay. Interesting. Interesting. So your 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 target costing was based on week of uh, his products. Did you take multiple products or just one product? Only one one product. One one in producing one single bed. Okay, that's that's a bed. Okay, fine. Okay. Good. I think that's good. Um, anyone else want to share, you know, his or her experience with us? It's really important that we discuss this so that we can exchange ideas. And, and let me say here also, it, it gives me an opportunity to, you know, to understand things, th things I think, more. Very good. Yeah, Very good. sure. Really. It have given In fact, this, this, this is the main reason why I gave you this practical assignment. You know? Sure. sure. You know, it's, it, it's not about, you know, like I said, you know, learning and, you know, getting A pluses and so on and so forth. No, it's about knowing what you are doing. It's about applying what you're trying to learn. That's, 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 that's my uh, main purpose. You know, um, accounting without application knowledge is just nothing because accounting is very, very, very nice. It's a very, very nice profession. 
So some of you, because uh, you're not yet employed, you know, stuff like you, you are not able to gain firsthand, you know, information on how you know it obtains in real life. So this is why I want to engage you, you know, uh, to, to to start, you know, uh, getting used to what obtains in real life. Okay, because sometimes what you learn in class and what obtains in real life is uh, is, is completely different. Okay, right. Thank you, Mr. Kaur. So, anyone else, please? Karamo, have you done the assignment? Yes, sir. I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. Okay, T tell us about your assignment, Karamo. Yeah. For me, I used a bakery factory. You used a bakery. Okay, fine. Excellent. Uh -huh. well, there's one bakery near me here, so that's the place I went to. Okay, so how did you uh, how did you do the research? You just take us through. Yeah, I, I I asked them in the uh, daily products on what are the raw materials they need, mm -hmm. and how 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 much quantity did they produce daily? Mm -hmm. So after get them giving me all that, I asked them what is your profit out of each uh, out of each bread or out of each. Karamo, Karamo, can you switch off the one of your appliances? The point. You have two appliances on. Okay, fine. Go ahead now. So when I asked them what is uh, the total amount of profit they used to get generated from each daily product store, mm -hmm. yes. After they told me uh, everything, then I tried to design a question of myself. Uh, Okay, you design a questionnaire or something? Yeah? A questionnaire is by myself. Of that okay. uh, details I uh, obtained from them. Okay. Yeah, so when I, I after doing that, then I try to form a, uh, a traditional way of costing, like absorption costing of that the, their whole amount and how they arrive at that profit. Okay. Then I try to do uh, uh, some, uh, uh, I have to call it, if, uh, improvements on those on their raw materials and their cost of products one. Okay. So at least the cost down a little bit. Yeah, okay. So when I did that, then I tried to I, I make another uh, costing format of for the target costing. Okay. Then I tried to compare their profit margin and their like the variance. Okay. Yeah, so after when I did all that, then I tried to compare that. I, I, so I, I realized that using target costing and using some of your resources efficiently, yeah. uh, at least bit your profit, uh, uh, yeah, increase your profit a little bit more than how you were, uh, what we were earning before. Okay. Yeah, that's my experience. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Thanks. Okay, anyone else? That's good, Karamo. Yes, I'm Mr. Fovan. Yes, Abdullah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I found it difficult at the beginning because you know, some of the factories I visited, you know, didn't want to share their detail with me. They declined, yes. I was yes. expecting that. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> are so, from the so they, they like to disclose things. That's the trouble with so, us. <laughs> that's it. Some asked me to come back to the university and ask them to give me a written statement. So I told them, I told them this is not a yeah, dissertation, it's just a mere assignment for a particular course. Okay. They said even though. So I decided to reach out um, to my own village, you know, craft, there is a craft you found there in Kafura village. In Kafura, okay. Yeah, craft farms. That's okay. where I ended up going to. Okay, good. Uh, so what did you, what, what, what did you find? Yeah. But I made I met the accountant, you know. So at the beginning, like I said, I found it difficult. But when I found one that is crappy farms, you know, it was a bit easier because when I explained to the accountant, he understand. Okay. So he direct he gave me the details. In fact, most of them in the unit course. I does not have I did not have to find the units by acting for their outputs. Okay. Uh, I decided to do my calculation based on those okay. unit costs. So okay. um, when I look at unit costs, the gap, you know, there's no gap between, there's no, so, no so, gap. So the, 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 the rugby farm, the, what, what product did you use specifically? Or did you that, use? Okay, uh, okay, thank, yeah, thank you. I forgot to mention that, you know, they grow um, 
potato and onion, but I base it on potato. Okay. Irish potato, I guess, yeah? Yeah, Irish potato, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. So when, Do they grow, they grow in, about... in, in, uh, in, uh, in mass quantities or it's just uh, um, for family consumption? Is, is it is it grown in the market or is it just a... Uh, uh, yeah, it is, when I discussed with them, they said they, they distribute it in the market here and also export some abroad. Okay, wow, that's interesting. Yeah, so they, they said they face no competition in the market here because anytime they harvest it and they are ready for the market, the government gives them back and that they suspend all the importation of Irish potato and onion. Oh, wow, look at that. That's really good. Yeah, so therefore, you know, I think that's the reason why there's no um, gap, cost gap, you know, between the target cost and estimate cost because they don't have to. <laughs> put more on the market research, you know, product features, or say, because it's just like they enjoy monopoly in the market. Anytime their products are ready for the market. Okay, wow. That's interesting. That's interesting. That's good, that's good. Right, okay, good. Good for sharing that. Anyone else, please? This is really important to exchange ideas so that um, we know what um, the others have done. We can all learn from each other. Anyone else? If we don't choose sorry, to Mr. Mr. Adam. Yes. Oh, sorry, Mr. Boba. Yes. Yeah, there's something during the, my um, research, you know, there's something. And uh, I don't know how to go by that, so I want to ask you about it. Because according to them, they have ice potato. Okay. During the process, you know, there is a machine that separates them, you know, that, because there are some ice potatoes that when you put them in, into a storage, like in a container, they will be rotten. Okay. So there is a machine that, that separates it from the others. There are mm -hmm. others, you know, when you keep them in a storage container, you know, it will be rotten. So those ones, you know, they call it, you know, um, product B, they are product A and B. Okay. So those kind of products, you know, they sell it, um, they, sell, they sell the two products in different prices. Okay. So this, the product B has to go to these, um, these other markets, you know, where it will not stay long. Okay. So the product for product B is for our, for like the hotels and uh, for export. Okay, so it's like quality A and quality B. <laughs> quality B, yeah. So for I decided to go with quality A. Okay. So because and I look I wanted to get it down. In fact when I heard about your audio that you know, in case you know we face a factory where they, they deal with different products, it has to be done in you know, a separately, product by product. Yes. So I wanted to put product B, but you know, by looking at it, you know, when you look at the estimate cost, mm. that one is going to be the same. But the target cost is going to be different. You know, I don't know how to go by that. Well, how are you going to analyze? No, no, no. I, I think I think you you you're fine. You're fine. Um, you 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 have a choice if you um if you're uh, your target company, your target organization has multiple products. You can choose to do um, one or more. But if you've, if you've done one, then you're okay. And especially the one you have done is the one in uh, is the one that has got uh, uh, the highest market share, isn't it? Yeah. Because that's that's quality A, isn't it? Yeah, that's one of quality A. Okay, so you're fine. You're definitely fine. So don't worry about the, the other one. I think for the purpose of the assignment, you're, you're good to go. Good. Yeah. Why not? Yes, Ibrahima. What was your what was your choosing company, your organization? <laughs> so I just chose a poultry farm from one of my brothers, Jokadu Poultry Farm. Poultry Farm. Yeah, he was Jokadu Poultry Farm. Okay. He's pro producing chickens, yeah. Okay, which one? Which, which, which kind of poultry? It's a poultry farm that produces, uh, uh, how to call it, uh, broilers. Broilers, okay. Fine. Broilers, Good. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I calculated. I went and look, uh, asked them the you know raw materials he used for the uh, poultry. Okay. He gave me one. He used uh, he used to buy chicks, and those are the small small this thing that they used to this thing for broilers. For broilers, uh huh. Yeah, they also buy the feeding. Okay, so how much do they usually buy the the chicks for? They are called day old chicks. Mind you, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. They they buy the chicks for twenty five dollars each. Twenty five. You know, they have there are two types. There are one that costs fifty. There is another one that costs twenty five. Okay. It's having the small one. Yeah, the one that costs twenty five. So where where does he get his kick, his kicks from? He usually bought it from one of one man here. The man used to bring it from Senegal, I think. From Senegal, okay, okay, yes. twenty five. Yes. Okay, fine. There are there are some that are of inferior quality that you can buy for cheaper than fifty. Okay, fine. I agree. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And like the feed. What about the feed per bag? The feed per bag. The feed per bag was so uh, about. He was selling the feed for back for now at 500 500 he was buying the, the feed he was buying oh, the, yeah oh. yeah that's yeah yeah a small bag it's not the big bag okay it's a small bag mm -hmm. okay. it's, a, it's a small bag yeah okay okay fine. good mm. and also he also bought medicines for okay. the chickens Medication for the chicken, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the chicken will also need water on yes. daily basis, yeah. Okay. So, like, he spent maybe around uh, $60 mm -hmm. for, yeah, for, for daily water. Okay. So that, those were the raw materials. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then he had he employed some people. Okay, so what, so, was, what was his um, target selling price? You know that's the selling price that um, the market uh, that is being obtained at the market. The target selling price was two hundred. Two hundred dollars per chicken, yeah, per chicken, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so he, what was the weight for for that um, for that price? What was the weight? Because they, no, they no, have no. different weights. Yeah, they have different weights. They have different weights. Weight some weight two point five. Some of them weight up to three kilos. Yeah, <laughs> for two point five and three, you cannot. You, well, I don't know. Maybe because it's it's Nyomi. You know, Nyomi is too. <laughs> you know, uh, actually, in combo here, in mm. one point two, one point five, you can sell them for two twenty five, two fifty, like that. Okay. You know, some even go up to two seventy five. You know, especially during the Ramadan. Okay. You are right. You are right. Mm. So, where oh, yeah. you, did you did you realize any any cost gap between uh, his current costing technique and uh, the target cost? Yeah, yeah, of course, there was a cost gap. Okay. Mm. It was after looking at the uh, profit per unit, what I calculated, you got a cost gap of at least for the four four i can say four dollars per unit four dollars okay yeah. so how did you suggest that the cost cap should be eliminated the cost gap mm -hmm. okay he needs to he needs to buy inferior inferior feed quality or does he exactly, have to yeah. the feed he, he gives but if he if he gives them inferior good qual uh, uh, feed quality it that's good more expensive is that's going to have effect on quality on, on, yeah it will have effect on quality <laughs> uh -huh. that's right or does he have to reduce the number of times he provides feed to the to the kicks or, or, or exactly what? and maybe the number of employees because he employed about 20 people 20 people mm -hmm. what how large is the farm there are about how many bats uh, the number of birds mm -hmm. at the time of your visit, I can't remember though, but you should have asked them because that's very, very important for your calculation. Mm -hmm. it's very, very important for your calculation. It's part of the calculation, though. I put it there, but okay, fine. Okay, 
Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you so much, right, Mr. Charles. Uh, can we hear from the ladies now as well? Hadi S. Jalo. Hadi, Hadi, are you with us? Yes. Hadi? We want to hear from the ladies as well. Have they gone to visit um, a makeup shop? You know, especially now that the trade fair is on, so it's easy. You can just visit businesses easily. Most of the well, there are lots of businesses that are already at the stadium. How, uh, Hadi, Hadi, are you with us? Horeja. Some have started leaving and I started calling names. Madeline Jabang, Madeline? Madeline, are you with us? Hello, Mr. Governor. Yes, Madeline. Have you done the assignment? Yes, Mr. Fofana. Yes, Madeline. Have you done the assignment? Yes, I did it. Okay, your assignment was on what? Yes, I did it. It was on what? It was on catering. It was on catering service. Catering service. Wow, wonderful. Okay. Hello? What's the, what's the name of the business? Catering. Yes, I know. Yes. Catering. Good. That's a good one. What's the name of your catering service? The catering service. What? Yeah, Binter's catering. Okay, so tell us about your research. Binter's research. catering service. Yes, Binter, tell us. Binter. Binter, okay. Binter's catering service. Yeah, at first it was, at first, yeah, at first it was difficult. I couldn't get more. The companies I visited asked me for more details, so I didn't have time. Okay. And I told them that it was um, a class assignment, but yet still they declined. Okay. So I, fortunately for me, I remembered a friend who knows someone who does um, this catering service. Okay, good. So I went to her. She gave me her details. Okay. So I focused on a meat pie. Meat pie, good. That she good. distributes, she caters, and then prepare it and give it to these bankers who some companies okay so yes. so generally what was the what mm -hmm. was the unit price the unit cost price of the of the meat pie using the using her current uh, costing technique and what what was the target uh, uh unit price for the for the meat pie? yeah because um the market meat pie price According to her, was twenty five. So she was delivering it for twenty one dollars. So okay. I suggested to her that if if we calculate it and use the target costing, we're going to maybe we can reduce the price to twenty dollars. So okay. that was Good. what we did. So Good. when we did it, we end up like I used her because she said she's using absorption costing. So we ended up calculating the target costing, and she was able to get like twenty dollars price, and then she got a profit of eight instead of was eight dollars eight dollars eight, 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 eight. Um, and the gap was two dollars sort of. Okay. Profit. So, yes. so how how did you how did you advise and her to, to work the on the gap? Was a bit, it I think was two dollars. Okay. So what was your advice to her in reducing the gap? So I told it to her and then in reducing the gap, I told her like to, to minimize the, the meat pie a bit, to reduce the size a bit, and then okay. the packaging also to, to change the packaging, the packages, like okay. the bags, to go in for a bit cheaper bag, but at least nice bags. Okay. Yeah, the flour also, I told her. Uh, to reduce the flour a bit, the oil and so on, but not in a in a way that it will reduce the quality or the, it will make a difference in the quality. Okay, excellent, 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 excellent. But uh, what about yeah. what about what about reducing the size? You, you think that will not have effect on the on the sales? You know, you know, that means yeah, we that we want to sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I told her that because she was concerned about it. But I told her because they were also complaining that you removed the delicacy. So why not you remove, you reduce the size? Not in a way that it will, you know, sometimes you can reduce the size that 
they won't even notice it. Okay. Yeah, that's that's true. That's yeah. true. Yeah, and then true. I advise her that if they notice it, just yeah. So I advise her also if they if they complain about it, just give them just jokefully make it a joke, and then because they are your customers, they might not take it too seriously. Wow, wow, wow! I'm really happy about uh, your assignment, Madeline. So you were you were very very resourceful to her. So you see, assuming that um, you want a job like you, you, you're a job seeker. Yeah, but it you was. Know, and then she can be able to, huh? you know, um, expand. So, see, she, she, she can use you, and in future, she will definitely want to want to use your service because you, you, you are able to use your knowledge to to help her to to improve her business. That's 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 really good. Thank, thank you so much, Marvin. Thank you. J number five. J yes. number. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Jenna, are you with us? Some people deliberately refuse to answer me. Jenna, are you with us? Okay. Mohammed Gay. Mohammed. Mohammed Gay, have you done the assignment? Mohammed. Okay, let's let's do just a couple of people and uh, who wants to volunteer and tell us uh, the ones who have not spoken yet. Who wants to tell us? Yes. <coughs> so, <hold on. coughs> yes. Also, based my assignment based on this bakery making bread making. Okay. Oh, on what? On 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 on, on bread. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. I uh, went there then try to ask them try to collect some information on how they make bread, material they use, and you know what their expenses in making those breads. You know, so try to collect those informations. You know. And it was difficult because at times it's difficult for them. They don't uh, because they, because I base my assignment based on two products. They are, they, are, they are making different type of breads in that uh, bakery. Okay. Yeah. The other one is this ordinary bread, sinful. The other one is they, they try to make different design of sweet breads. You know. Okay. So which one did you use? Was it the sinful or the sweet bread? I used two, two product, the oh, sinful and products. also the the sweet bread. Oh, excellent. Design, excellent. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Yeah. So I take the main uh, materials, the ingredients they use in making those ones. As my okay. materials, I also ask them they are selling price. You know the uh, the flour. The mainly their material is flour. You know that uh, actually they selling uh, the buying price of the flour and how they price their different breads. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. so I take all those information. So do, are they are they affected by you know uh, price fixation? Like um you know in 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 some bakeries. They, they have a price cap whereby you cannot uh, price your bread you so you cannot price your, your your bread you know beyond you know yeah, some because, people of bakeries don't have that yeah, issue because if they they want to, because i even asked them that because if they want to overprice some of these some of the suit breads you know it's better to at least minimize the price so that they can have more sales on it you know so okay. they give me the, the prices of each of them you know so, but I base my uh, assignment based on the two the, the two products. So, because the the sweet breast, they have different designs of it. So, okay. but I just try to make it as one and also the same to separately to have the two products to compare them. Okay, excellent, excellent. Yeah. excellent. So, uh, after doing your calculations, did you encounter any cost gap? Yeah, I have encountered the cost gaps. Uh, maybe if I think advise them maybe it's because of the ingredients they use in making those sweet breads that okay. may be the cause of the you know the the, the, the gap the gap because they use different materials compared to the normal same food because of the sweet bread they use more ingredients in it you know to make it more nice something like that yeah because that's that's um kind of more specialized exactly yeah, because I think the ordinary bread, the ingredients are what flour. They are just for flour, salt, salt, you know, water and water. Yeah. Yes. 
and yes and yes yes and also ask them because they you they they the the man employ some guys there some are mainly uh, are tied to making the bread but some are there to making the parkings and also distribution distribution of the bread you know so i use those ones as my overheads to to okay. get more information then i come and design my you know how to work on it wow. excellent Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Thank you, thank you, Yusufa. Let's hear from one more person, and uh, we 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 stop uh, we stop there on the discussion of the assignment, so we can move on to what we're supposed to do. Usman, yeah. yes, Usman, yes, Usman. Let's hear from you. Yes, I, I, think, I, I think you for you you should use. Yes, I went to the tapala No, no, you should you should use this uh, the, the salted fish. You know, your fingers are good at uh, <laughs> Hello? Salt, salted field, uh, fish. Oh, network. Yeah, also, Hello? yes. You also use a tapalapa? Yes. Okay. Yes, I use tapalapa. I went to Brufut, you know where I am staying. So. Okay. Then I went to this who are making the local bread. Okay. So I met three people there, but they say that the person the place is just out, and he employed them to for them to do the work, and he paid them um, like uh, according to the number of bags that they normally make a day. Okay. So each of them were told me that they can only make two bag, yes, two bag of flour a day, and they are paying them seventy dollars per bag. Okay. So, like now, I asked the, the the cost of uh, the flour, the bags. Then they told me about three fifty. So when I calculate eight fifty, I look at it and I got a profit of seven hundred and forty five dollars. What is that profit? So it then now profit I over? told them that okay, is that a if daily I told profit? You the bread you are selling, they they have, yeah. The profit yes, you I'm in the office. Some people are talking here. Please. Yes. 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 What I'm so asking they, you, they, you, they, they normally sell the. Hello. Can you ask the guys on, you know, around you to excuse you? You are attending a class, please. That one is that one is my HR. Let me just step out for a moment. Then when he is finished, okay. Um. Hello, Mr. Fofana. Yes. Go ahead. Yes, you are getting me. Yes, I'm so getting then after then uh, like uh, I calculate I calculate the direct material that is the flour, the baking powder, and the salt. Then mm -hmm. I got a profit of um, almost to seven hundred and forty eight dollars. So now I ask them now they because they, those people they sell it at a dozen and six dozen. So they normally have um sixty dozen papa. Okay. So it almost to um, 72, 72, 72, 72, yes, dozen. So 72 dozens. When I divided, I have 140 dozen. Uh, 140, mm -hmm. yes, 140 40, 40 dozen for the two bags. Because each mm -hmm. bag can take, can, can, uh, the output is 72. So then I have 144. Then I multiply the revenue cost to about mm -hmm. almost. 3,600 uh, 3, and they got a profit of 748. So uh, I asked them, okay, now, if I told you you are the owner of the business, because the number, the man who is working there is not there. I mm -hmm. said, if I told this is your business, I said, okay, what can we do now in order to reduce the cost? Because I can see that uh, the profit, we can able to maximize it from 748 to mm -hmm. some of those things. But what he told me that he said that they don't have any day. I said, okay, now, as you have, you people, is it not important for you people who are making this bread? At the end of the day, you take it to the, uh, the shopkeepers for, them, for, for you to sell it to them at the price that they normally take it from here. They said, oh, no, they are very tired. And from there, they cannot do anything. But look at it. They only have $140, $70 back, $140 a day. That revenue is too small for them. So they can able to maximize in order for them to also increase their earning because what the number of hours they normally spend there maybe is two hours. But they told me that two bucks take them up to at the midnight or even daybreak. 
Okay. So, hello? Yes, I'm yes, getting so it. I asked so, them, okay, now the, um, yes, okay, the number, the number of bags of cement, uh, flowers they normally take, they can go and arrange at a particular shopkeeper to get at a cheaper price. Because they, what they told me that before people come there to look for apprentices, they wanted to work for them to train them. But now, Everybody work out because the price of the uh, flower they cannot increase it, and they can only do it. So only old people will be used to, uh, will be willing to do such a kind of work because like they don't have any other option to do. So mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a difficult thing in that area. So I was trying to look at it in order to get the maximize the cost that this order to increase the profit that they can be able to have. Okay. So mm -hmm. the option mm -hmm. I, I, I prefer is the buying them at a low material at a low cost. And also like the number of uh, workers, they normally reduce you to, maybe if at all it is three, you reduce the labor to about only two people can do the work because one can be mixed in the mixers and other one can be using it to yeah. i don't know they call it safe yeah <laughs> food yes yes so i i find that and okay. also like the, for the yes the, the material like the firewood please please online online okay. okay sorry uh, um, Please excuse they, him. He's on. They he's can, in class. Firewood. They can reduce the number cost like like buying them in large quantities okay. so that the okay. fine, cost fine, 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 fine. Usman, I think, I think yeah. we. Huh? Yeah, you, 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 the, the network Hello? is fluctuated. The network is fluctuated. Well, thank, thank you so much. Yes, yeah, yeah. thank you so much. The network is fluctuated. Um, I think you've, you've, you've done well, to be honest. Um, uh, maybe you should try to meet the proprietor himself so you can, you know, uh, give those advices. Yeah? Yeah, yeah because your, 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 your advices were, were twofold. One, to uh to reduce the the the, the material cost yes. by time to you know uh benefit course, from yes, yes. uh bulk uh <laughs> discount as a result of bulk buy and then two is to uh, reduce the 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 headcount the number of yes. uh, uh employees okay so i think that's good so uh just try to meet yes. the, the proprietor and uh, give that advice okay yes okay but, or, or they can make it that Okay, Usman. Uh, uh, yeah, Usman. Thank you. Thank you. We, we, we've had you learn with me. I think your 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 so yours is also a good one. Yes. Yes. I apologize for the noise. It's all right. No problem. No, I understand. You know, uh, maybe you need to tell them or try, try to find my, my, a, a nice a, a, a nice yeah. corner. You know, sometimes the office uh, the office can be can be wide. Try to look for a place where you can corner yourself. If, if, um, yeah, okay. they are, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are asking me to go for a training at the Serekunda, but right now I'm on class, so my boss is giving me a warning. But right now I'll manage it with them now. Okay, fine. Okay, thank you. No, it is difficult. Thank you. Like, so, um, I, I think we need to move on class. Uh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much. Um, all the people who said their their research experience with us. Um, this is brilliant. I will, I will try to give you more of this as we go along. Um, to be honest, for, for, for some of you who have gone to, to visit uh, businesses, I'm sure you had a good time. You know, you really appreciated your going there. You know, one, you are able to understand their business very well. Two, you are able to make an impact on their life by giving them your financial advice. And then three, of course, um, assuming you are not working, if that particular business has got a role, they will definitely want to uh, uh, contact you. So please, please, let's continue on this trend. You know, um, let's just 
you know, uh, uh, graduate from this um, Gambian way of doing things. I have to sit in my corner until something comes my way. No, you go out, provide free services. You at least have some, some, some knowledge. Provide that. Accounting is different from a lot of other subjects. It's a practical subject. It's a subject that affects everybody. Everybody, whether you are in the business or not. You know? So try to give them advice. And then by doing that, you'll definitely make a lot of impact on, on, on people's life, a lot of impact on businesses' life. And of course, by doing that, who knows? It, you, know, you might find you know, success along the way. Okay? So, so, so thanks so much. Um, I'm going to look at, of course, the, the assignments, and I'm going to grade them uh, for everybody. But I think this is important. So we share you know, uh, uh, our experiences with, with each other. Okay. Good. So we